Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Duck Fat Smashed Potatoes with Pancetta Gravy. Today I want to share with you guys a really simple flavor packed side dish featuring baby red potatoes that are roasted in duck fat, smashed down and smothered in a rich pancetta gravy. So let's dive right in. So this is all going to start off with three simple ingredients. We've got our baby red potatoes here that we're just going to smother in our spray duck fat. You could use duck fat out of a can, but we've got this on hand and use it quite often. So I'm going to try and just get a couple, two to three tablespoons in here, enough to really coat all of the surfaces of the potatoes. And then we're going to hit it with our seasoning. Now you could just do salt, pepper, garlic, that kind of thing if you like. I'm going to use one of my favorite savory rubs. It's the Code 3 Spices Grunt Rub because it's got those big flavors, the salt and the pepper and the garlic, and I love the texture on it as well. We don't need a ton of it. I know you think with potatoes, go ahead and season a little bit more than you might think, but we're gonna have a salty gravy to go on top, so we're not gonna overdo it here. But once those are all coated, we'll go into our 12-inch skillet. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna throw a lid on it and get it on the grill. Today we'll be cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. We're running at 425 indirect heat. Now I'm gonna go top shelf here. Uh, if we go on bottom shelf, that's okay, but you wanna stay away from the direct flame so you don't scorch the bottom. And we are gonna use the lid to make sure this goes a little bit quicker today. If you wanted to cook these open, you could get a little more smoke flavor on them, but it's probably gonna maybe even double your cook time. Well, potatoes have been on for an hour. They're feeling really tender. We're gonna do a little probe test to show you. Yeah, so we're just gonna get in here with the probe. There should be very little resistance. Honestly, if we squeeze this with a towel, it's gonna to crack open. Boom. That's what we're looking for. Should have a nice little bit of crust on the bottom. Check out those bottom potatoes. See that crust going on? That's gonna add a lot of flavor because we're gonna make our gravy right here in the skillet. All right, so we're gonna take our hot potatoes. We're gonna transfer them over to a bowl so we can make our gravy in the skillet here. And while we have those nice and hot, we're gonna throw just a couple tablespoons of butter in there to melt in. And that's gonna help with the consistency of the finished smashed potato. And we just cover that up to keep it hot. We're going to start the gravy off by cooking down some pancetta and some shallots. So I'm just going to get these sliced up thin. So once we get our four shallots peeled, we're just going to slice these pretty thin. Half moons, whole shallots, doesn't really matter. Just a, a thin slice. This is going to be a fairly rustic gravy. Lots of good texture in it. And a very rich gravy. So we're gonna start with four ounces of pancetta. The nice, fatty, cured salty pork product. And we're gonna add at the same time, add our shallots and then no additional salt because there's plenty of salt going on in the pancetta. We start to cook this down over medium heat. Sweat out these onions until they're soft. Maybe add just a little bit of color to them as well. And while the pancetta and the shallots are cooking down, we're gonna prepare our herbs. So we've got some fresh thyme here. I'm gonna go for two tablespoons of fresh thyme, just the leaves. So once we get all those leaves off there, we'll just run a knife through here to make sure everything's uniform. And let's move on to the rosemary, which we're looking for two tablespoons. Nope, two teaspoons of. Rosemary is kind of like that loud friend that you invite over and like the tend to dominate the conversation, so if you can quiet them down every once in a while, not a bad idea. That's why we go a little bit lighter on the rosemary. God love them, but take a break, right? So we're working up some of that fond off the bottom as the moisture is released from the onions. We're creating a little bit more with the uh, pancetta that's in there, which is fine because we'll kind of deglaze all this as we build our gravy. But you can see where we're headed with this now. We've got some really rich flavors from the pancetta. The shallots add a nice onion base. We've got some fresh herbs to throw in here. And then we're gonna put in a really nice dark veggie stock. So this would be a deep, rich gravy that we're gonna round out with some heavy cream. 
All right, so these are looking really good. We've got some nice browning going on. We've rendered out some fat, but to be honest, we need just a little bit more to create a roux to make our gravy. So I'm gonna add a bit more of that duck fat. And then we're gonna add our flour and just build the roux right on top of the base that we have. Now you're typically looking for about the same amount of flour as fat when you're building a roux. In this case, we got about two tablespoons of each. And we're guessing a little bit there, right? Because we're trying to figure out how much is rented out, how much duck fat do we add. But as long as this stuff is coated nicely, you can see on the outside how it's coated in that roux. That's gonna be plenty of thickening power for our gravy. Let's let it cook down for another 30 seconds. So now that we've cooked some of the rawness out of that flour, I'm gonna sprinkle in our fresh herbs and we'll start to add our veggie stock. Just a little bit at first, scraping up the bottom. And a little bit more. And we'll just go slow. Keep stirring this in. And then we wanna bring it to a simmer and watch it thicken. This has been cooking away for about five to 10 minutes now and you can see it's thickened up nicely. What we're looking for is as we draw the spoon through, it fills in slowly behind the wooden spoon, not right away, and it doesn't just stay put. So one of the last things we need to do here is add our heavy cream. And this is just going to add a really nice mouthfeel to our gravy. So we'll cook this away for a couple more minutes to make sure we end up with the consistency we want. Have a little bit of a taste and we'll finish off our potatoes. Our gravy is now done, so I'm gonna transfer it to another bowl. We're gonna get our potatoes back in the skillet, smash them up, and top it all off with our pancetta gravy. Still plenty of heat on our potatoes. We're gonna mash these down by hand. We're looking to break them up, but we're not going for a full-on mash. keeping it rustic. Well, we've got that little bit of moisture that's accumulated in the pan along with the butter. It gives us a really cool consistency. It's not just a smashed up potato. It's got a little bit more body to it than that. You can let people scoop up their own potatoes and go gravy on top, or for presentation's sake, we could go right on top of the serving dish. And just top it all off with a little bit of greenery, some Italian parsley. All right, let's dig in. Mmm. That's the perfect texture. I love that smash. There's still something going on in there where it's, it's not a mash that just spreads. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And that gravy, so creamy and rich. It's got just the right amount of salt, not too much. And all those fresh herb flavors and aromas going on. Fantastic compliment to the potatoes. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Do us a favor and head over to atbbq.com to check out all the products featured in today's video, or you can simply click the link in the video description down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below, and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.